morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Imran Malik, and I'm the Senior Director for Enterprise uh, Services at Do. For those of you who are not aware of what Do is, especially if you're new to the country, uh, then we are one of the leading telecom service providers in the country. Uh, we offer fixed services, mobile services, and broadcasting services across UAE. Our market share is very competitive, and uh, we are one of the fastest growing telecom service providers in the region, in the whole MENA region. So that's, uh, that's a bit about uh, what I do. As far as project management is concerned, uh, I've spent over a decade uh, planning and delivering projects within various uh, domains. And I see these are very testing times for project management as a profession uh, than it was before. The reason, uh, many, and I'm gonna walk you through those, and the whole idea of sharing my thoughts with you today, uh, what I'm really gonna capture today is uh, you know, some of the challenges we as project managers face in the industry, and what are, the, what are some of the measures we could take in, in the disruptive times to overcome those uh, challenges. So I hope to wrap it up in uh, not more than 12 to 13 minutes, so uh, requesting your kind attention, please. Uh, project management is, uh, is becoming very perceptive, is become very perception driven. So today, uh, if in an organization you need somebody to offload baggage, uh, people demand project manager. If you need somebody to uh, you know, organize an event, they talk about project management. If you need to build a, a monumental project, they need a project manager. If you need to introduce a new technology, they talk about project management. So project management is, is very hard to predict these days because everyone seems to be using the word project management right from uh, the tallest and the longest and the fastest projects to something like organizing an event or maybe something like you know, just doing a messenger or a delivery kind of, a, kind of job. So how do you really assess, uh, is, is this really the project management that we're talking about? Or is this, uh, is this something which is very transactional in nature? So two most important parameters which we often uh, use in the industry are efficiency and effectiveness. So we don't do project management just for the heck of it, but at the end of the day, we want to see revenues, we want to see a better customer experience, we also want to see profitability. And if you're not able to achieve all these aspects through project management, then I think there's no need to have project management. So in the first place, we don't do project management just for the heck of it, it should deliver value. And value should be able, you should be able to translate that value into profitability or better customer experience or a better market share. So that's what we've been doing uh, in our industry for over the years, and there have been occasionally times when we have diluted the entire project management function because we haven't been able to achieve uh, certain attributes because of which we need this to be there. So this is just an analogy on uh, how perceptions can change uh, you know, an ecosystem. Uh, now let me just give you something in the backdrop. This is, uh, these are the recent uh, or the last 10 years of oil prices. Now we've seen a decline in the oil prices fluctuating left, right, and center. And this is where we are today. Now this is $65 plus barrel. Now we all need to understand that we work in an economy where uh, we are an oil generating ecosystem. So entire GCC is heavily dependent on the revenue, the income that comes out of the crude oil. So the moment we reach 60, 65, this is a break-even point. To make it more simpler, GCC, precisely UAE, Saudi Arabia, they need to sell oil at at least $65 per barrel to meet their uh, financial budgets. So at any given point in time when they sell it less than 65, then there's a deficit. And this would translate, this would impact on the projects. This would impact on the infrastructure. This would impact the investments, and this is where you need to have more robust, more systematic, more efficient project management engine in place in organizations. One of the other impactful uh, uh, series of events is a lot of non-OPEC countries have started producing oil. So in the past, OPEC uh, countries were dominating the field, but now we also have non-OPEC countries producing a lot more oil. So what's really happening? The supply, supply is going up, demand is relatively going, dropping, so this is having an impact on our ecosystem. These are the world's top 10 importers of oil. So heading US, one of the top uh, importers of oil, followed by China, Japan, India, South Korea, so what has really happened in the recent past is uh, these top importers 
have started importing relatively less oil. So the demand from their side has also dropped. In the middle of all these economic turbulences, uh, now why am I talking about all this? Because this has had an impact on project management profession. Now we are talking about project management that can, be, uh, that can work with lesser resources. We're talking about project management profession that can do the things right so we don't have repetitions, we don't waste uh, efficiencies, we can be uh, effective, we can be profitable, we can also be faster on time. So we don't have options of trying, experimenting, and testing. So economically, uh, turbulent economy, competitive market, a lot of competition, resources are shrinking, uh, fundings are declining, so you need to be at your best. So there's a saying called efficiencies don't matter when the demand is high. Efficiencies don't matter when the demand is high, but right now, efficiencies do matter. That's why you need to have the best of the breed when it comes to running a project management function. Now what we do in our industry, we start with something like strategic objectives. We have five year strategic plans. Now what is a strategic plan? Uh, in, a, in a technology domain, strategy simply means what are you going to achieve in next four years, period. So strategy is what are you going to achieve in next four years? This is for technology. Now if you go into healthcare, it probably means what are you going to achieve in next 15 years. In a nuclear science industry, strategy would mean what are you going to achieve in next 40 years. So it all would depend on different ecosystems. So for us, we start somewhere over here, which is what are our objectives for next three to four years. We break those down into performance management uh, parameters. So something like uh, we could use a balance scorecard or you could use some other kind of a performance management system in an organization. Using these two mechanisms, you come up with all the projects that you need to deliver or you need to build to sustain your business. So you might come up with something like 100 projects for next four years in order for us to meet a certain market share, to meet a certain bottom line. 